Welcome to Bassman Strikes. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to do a canister filter cleaning after one year. So stay tuned to see how gross it really is. Canister filter has not been serviced in over one year. So we're going to see what kind of condition it's in. I mean, exterior the exterior of it looks like brand new. It's been sitting in this cabinet, so we'll see how the filter pads and the sponges and the media look like in a second. We're gonna haul it off to the to the bathroom and rip it apart, see what it looks like. Alright. So here's what the head unit looks like after one year. UV sterilizer bulb looks pretty good. Doesn't look like there's any moisture in it. No rust looks good. I think there's some buildup on the impeller. You know, the usual crud. It's not too bad. But then we look in here. Yeah, you know, there's quite a bit of junk in here. So we're going to take the trays out. It's doing a pretty good job, though. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot of bypass. But maybe there is. We don't know. We'll see. All right, here goes. First tray. All right, this tray has media in it with one filter pad on top. Let's take it out. Oh, for a year, it's not that bad. Trays are in good shape. I don't I don't run that UV sterilizer that often. You can see it hasn't like deteriorated or anything, so that's good. Trays look in great shape. Alright, it's tray number one. Let's pull this pad out, see how the well, the media looks fine. A little bit of crud on there, just looks like a little rinse. So what I'll do is, after I rinse out this bucket, I'll fill this up with aquarium water and rinse this media out with aquarium water, just to get any you know crud off it. Overall, it's not bad shape. Ooh, there's quite a bit of crud on the second tray. Really though, that is not that bad. Third tray. I think this needs to be rinsed. This will all clear off just fine. With the plastic all looks in great shape. No problems. Okay, the last tray. This all has foam in it, I believe. Or does it have rock? This is the one at the bottom, so this is going to be the, the most dirty. That one's pretty pretty nasty. <clears throat> and I think what's in here is a regular filter pad and two foam, blue foam. We'll see. Obviously the white filter pad is shot. Yeah. Yes, this one is quite nasty. All right, the blue, there's the blue. I'm just gonna go rinse these out. Let those soak for a little while. And yes, the bacteria is now dead in these, which I don't care. So it's not a big deal. These are like pre-filters anyways. They do get colonized over time, but the main media contains most of the bacteria and we're not going to kill that. All right. Give 
in, so it's not that not that bad. And get everything out of it. There's a little bit of gravel in it that this thing sucked up. It's pretty powerful. The plastic is in outstanding shape after over a year. And the key to these sun suns for this plastic not disintegrating is do not use the UV sterilizer for extended periods of time. Only use it when you need it. Now if I had run this the UV sterilizer continuously, this plastic would have been degraded. But as you can see, it's in great shape. There's no wear on it whatsoever. Excellent. No need to buy any new trays, so that's good. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna put all the trays back in, put the head back on, and then fill it with aquarium water, and then I'll rinse those out. One thing with these Sun Suns is there's these little plugs that go in the canner, the bottom of the trays. So you got to watch, make sure that if any of these fall out, you got to put them back. So that's what that is. That goes on the bottom of the trays. So you can see right there, that one fell out. And uh, those are there to prevent bypass. So we're going to put that one back in. They just press in there like that. Make sure yeah, that those are all in there. Put the filter back under the aquarium. Put the valve block back in. Opened it so the canister filled with water. Now this is all clean aquarium water, no chlorine. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the trays out and then rinse them in this aquarium water to get all the gunk off. So I'm going to do that. Silicone and grease back. on the O-ring. So I cleaned it really good. I cleaned the groove around the head. So we're gonna grease that up and put it all back together and put it back on the tank. So there we go. All cleaned, ready for assembly. I didn't use the Sun Sun filters, I cut custom ones for it. It never lost prime on the valve block. All we did was plug it back in, open it up, and it filled with water, no problem. So now, it should be filled to the top. It should start right away with no messing around. We might have to like shake it to get some air out, but other than that, it should be good to go. Let's see. And there we go, folks. Blowing some crud out of the hoses. A little bit of air in there, but that'll eventually work its way out. Right now, the most important thing to do is check for leaks. We'll let it run. See how it goes. See, we got good flow. No problem. All right, and then we gotta do that one next. That one's also been a year. So we'll, I'm sure it's in the same condition as this one was. Here we go, folks. All done, two canister filters cleaned. One year and four months was the last time it was changed. So I'm guessing May or June of 2018. I didn't keep really good track, but it's pretty close. It's a year plus. Uh, the one on the right was in worse shape than the one on the left. Now the one on the left, I had some ceramic rings at the very bottom of the of the bucket underneath the last tray. I don't know if that like helped keep you know bigger particles you know, down at the bottom. But this one was a lot better shape. It was much cleaner than this one. Why? I'm not really sure. But it could have been because of those rings at the bottom. But uh, what I did, I rinsed all the sponges in tap water because. I really don't care about the sponges because the media, I've got three trays of Biohome in one and three trays of Pond Matrix in the other one. Those, there's plenty of bacteria still in those. I rinsed those with uh, tank water. So, and I rinsed out the sponges really good and squeezed all the water out. So the, the, the bacteria that counts is perfectly fine. There should be no cycle of this tank. As you can see, the water was pretty damn clear. 
even having those canisters go over a year. So now I gotta add water because I filled up two of the canister buckets to rinse the the media. So I'm gonna let the filters run for a while. Make sure there's no leaks and then I'll add fill the water back up in the tank. Alright, that's all folks. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click the subscribe and like buttons. If you would like to be notified of new videos, click the bell icon. We'll see you next time.